Georgia and welcome back to my channel. In today's video we're going to be making a basket out of scrap fabric because I don't chuck out any of my scraps. I always keep them in a bag and I collect them so I can reuse them and make things like this basket. The first step is to cut your fabric into strips. I cut mine into about five centimeter width strips. They don't have to be perfect, just thin enough so they're easy to plait together later on. Okay, so I finished cutting all my strips. I'm then going to grab three strips and pin them together at the top. I'm just going to start plaiting and continue to plait until I've reached the end of the fabric. It should be looking something like this. When you get to the end of your fabric, all you have to do is grab another strip, fold it in and continue on plaiting. Repeat this step until you have used up all your fabric. It does take a little bit of time, but I like to put on a TV show and just plait as I watch. When you're finished with that, it should look something like this. Next, we're going to stitch the top of our strips so they don't come undone. Then we're going to sew the plait into a spiral like this. Make sure you're using a strong needle and set your machine to a wide zigzag stitch. The start is a little difficult, so take it slow and go back and forth to make sure that it is attached. Start adding your braid and slowly turning your machine and making sure it is attached. After the first few turns, it becomes a lot easier. You're just going to keep sewing until you reach the width that you want your bottom of your basket to be. And make sure you're not stretching your plait as you sew because this will make it warped. When you've reached your desired width, lift your spiral to the side to create the walls of the basket. Keep holding your spiral to the side like this until it is as tall as you'd like it to be or you've run out of fabric. When you've come to the end of your plait, you can either cut it and sew together to finish or you can do what I'm doing here and sewing a little handle in place. And then you should have a finished basket like this. Thank you so much for watching. Make sure to like and subscribe if you want to see more. I'll have more content over on my Instagram, which is linked below if you want to check it out.